What up? Another year, another shootout with some season predictions. Last year, I hit, I believe, 43 out of 100. So let's see what I do this time. Okay, season predictions for the East and the West. But before that, I just wanted to quickly touch on what's going on in this clip. You'll see that this year, the frame is static. I recorded it on a tripod instead of a moving cameraman like I did last year. And it kind of messed with my shot a little bit. I needed to stop after every 20 shots to reset the tripod to the next spot see if the framing is good you know and my rhythm was a little bit off but um i had a good shootout i like how i did so you'll see what happens okay let's go with the west first in the interest of time i'm gonna quickly just mention 15 i got utah 14 i got san antonio just because of pop even though it might be smart for them to tank and find the next tim duncan um got 13 houston 12 oklahoma and 11 and 10 it was kind of a coin flip for me between sacramento at 11 and number 10 portland i feel like i believe in in the blazers more and the roster and what damian Lillard has done in his in his career in this league um, not the biggest believer in De'Aaron Fox so until he shows it to me number 11 I got the Kings 10 I got Portland at number 9 I got the Minnesota Timberwolves which um, you know they made a huge gamble with Gobert traded away a few of their perimeter pieces in like Beverly Vanderbilt you know Beasley it's gonna be a gamble for them to see them in in a new playing style let's see how it works out for them but um I don't know wow I'm safe with number nine here they could go higher but I got them at nine number eight uh, the Los Angeles Lakers this could be a chaos this could be a circus um you know I'm rooting for Russ and and Patrick Beverly to really be best friends buddy buddies and um really tear the league apart even if you know that means I miss my prediction and they go really higher up like up to number four possibly who knows but um I don't know LeBron is getting old older 80 always misses games so i got him at number eight i'm okay with it at number seven slightly lower than last season i got dallas mavericks i feel like they lost brunson who was a big piece in terms of playmaking just making sure that everybody gets their shot at the same time he provided a lot of scoring like 17 18 points um they will have dimwitty doing this but um i don't know in terms of making plays for everybody i really love um Brunson and um that second unit we'll see how how it's going to look yes they have Hardaway back and yes they have Wood but um at number seven I'm pretty confident with my prediction at number six this is a team that I really believe in is the New Orleans Pelicans their starting five is crazy they finally got Zion we'll see how many games he plays but Herb Jones is one of the best defensive players in the league what they showed at the end of the season and the playoffs against phoenix is really making me just pick them to make the playoffs straight up the next season so i got them at six number five i got phoenix i feel like they're going to go down a little bit the way chris paul performed at the end of the playoff run you know even with the pelicans and then against dallas i did not like what i saw so he's older of course he's getting older the situation with ayton at the same time so I don't know I got him at number five and right here you can see that I'm struggling in this spot I'm, I'm sliding way below 50% a couple of misses in a row things are not looking good but trust me trust me just watch till the end and see what happens I'm gonna finish off strong and get back into it number four i got the clippers they are the most stacked roster in the league in my opinion the deepest roster it all just depends how many games Kawhi plays to be honest but um if they're fully healthy number four is a low spot for them at number three i got the memphis grizzlies nothing much to say here um just continue to do their thing deep roster got them at number three i'm good with my with my pick at number two we got the denver nuggets this is also an another great regular season team what Jokic did last season with half of his roster you know injured uh, makes me think that now that he gets back Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray you know this should be an easy top three spot for the Denver Nuggets and I got him at number two at number one I got the Golden State Warriors the defending 
champs not much to say here the only thing that could keep them from this number one spot is just load management in my opinion so to summarize the west this is going to be one of the most chaotic years in recent history every single one of these teams could easily finish in the top three you know even even the ones that i mentioned in the playing like dallas or the los angeles lakers and teams like phoenix i believe and even the clippers if they load manage a lot they could also finish in the play-in so this is going to be crazy and the situation is kind of similar in the east as well but um the firepower that the western conference has is unbelievable and all i want is for them to be able to decide on their own you know not for injuries or load management or stuff like that to decide who's gonna win a lot or lose a lot of games i just want to see all of these teams at full strength battle it out and just see which team is the best in this in this bloodbath that's gonna be the western conference okay before we go to the east you see that right now i'm at 28 out of 60 more than halfway there um i'm hovering around 50 percent i'm chasing it but hey let's see if i'm going to be able to get it moving on to the east uh number 15 indiana i like matherin their draft pick but they're gonna lose a lot of games so i got them at 15 14 is charlotte 13 i got detroit 12 orlando and 11 they got a good roster um washington but i got them out of the playing tournament why because this is going to be a bit of a homer pick for me to have new york knicks at number 10 i hope they make the play-in um the addition of brunson as i mentioned i feel like it's gonna it's gonna provide a lot for them because they did not even have a point guard last season the most important position in basketball they didn't have it so i got them at number 10. at number nine chicago um lonzo ball possibly missing the season is gonna be a huge blow for them i feel like he contributed a lot um in terms of playmaking in terms of also defense with caruso um i don't know i might be putting them one or two spots too low but um I'm, I'm okay at number nine number eight i got atlanta their starting five is really good i'm just not sure how how the second unit is gonna perform you know we're gonna see how dejounte murray and uh trey young look in the backcourt how the defense looks um i got them at number eight and we'll see at number seven i got the all athletic all wing stacked roster of the toronto raptors um i'm incredibly high unreasonably high on precious achua and in my opinion you're gonna see him just making strides and becoming better i got him at number seven and we'll see at number six i got the cleveland cavaliers with the newest addition donovan mitchell um he's gonna be a huge offensive firepower to already good defensive team and um number six i got him making the playoffs number five i got miami um miami and brooklyn at number four i might need to switch them i'm not sure about this one you know brooklyn on paper they're great they're awesome but we all know what's going on over there it's just a dumpster fire with people wanting to play not wanting to play trading then we're okay then i don't know at this moment i got brooklyn four miami five but who knows philly number three harden coming back healthy and be going for the mvp like third fourth year in a row who knows um the newer additions really building out the roster in a great way i feel like they're gonna be a top three team at number two i got the boss and Celtics even though they had all that controversy with Ime Udoka I don't think that's gonna impact them that much they have a great roster now they brought in Malcolm Brogdon who I love and he's gonna be a tremendous help for them also Blake Griffin he's gonna play some I guess yeah at number one we got the Milwaukee Bucks this is the most concrete team out of all of these here in the east I believe with Giannis even though Middleton is gonna miss the first few weeks I feel like Giannis and the team are more than capable to just coast through the first couple of weeks of the season and then get that number one spot at the end when they're fully healthy just in time to go for the last three shots here will i be able to 
get 50% of course and with this final shot I'm 51 Ooh. out of 100. 51 a new record for me I really wanted to go over 50 I didn't know I could do it yeah hopefully you liked it I'm gonna try to resurrect this channel with more content throughout the season stay tuned see you peace